hello, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of At Cars and Things. This particular episode that you're about to watch right now is particularly around the things, everything that we love and we love a lot of things. Although this channel is primarily about cars, we like to showcase the other things that become a part of our lives. We don't live in a small little bubble. We are fascinated and do like things such as sneakers, jackets, watches, etc. So this particular episode is literally one of its first one of a kind in this particular channel. So I'm super excited to share with you guys what you see on the title. So please make sure you do like, please make sure you do subscribe. It means a lot to us. Do comment below and just let us know. Um, what sort of other fragrances do you guys want us to showcase? Do you guys want us to talk about? Because we love smelling good. So, and I'm sure you do as well. You wanna, you wanna smell good and what you wear on yourself is a representation of really who you are and you know how you smell goes a long way as well. So without any further ado, let's talk about what we have here today. With me, I have got, and as you guys can see, I've got the Christian Dior Oud Espan fragrance. Now, I've been super fascinated about this fragrance from the day that I actually smelled it for the very first time. And I absolutely went nuts. I walked into the store and then I got there and realized how much it was actually gonna cost me to buy this fragrance and I've always had it at the back of my mind that it's surely something I need to get. So I finally got the opportunity to in fact get it and my oh my, am I in love. I'm literally in love once again with this particular fragrance and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So I wanna talk about the Christian Dior Oud Espan fragrance, which I've got over here. So the packaging looks like this. If you are gifting it, you do get to have it in a box, which is beautifully wrapped and it is scented as well. So as you are the gifter and you're gifting someone this particular gift and as they open it, they can actually get to smell the fragrance way before they've in fact opened it, which I thought was really, really cool and really just part of their service, something that they do add. So this is really just a gift to myself. I didn't feel the need to in fact wrap it, but this is actually what it comes with. It comes with this really cool carrier bag and inside it, it comes in a, another pack that looks very similar to this one as well, as you can see. And as you open it, it comes in this like case that has Christian Dior at the top badging. And if you look at the bottom there, it's just got the serial numbers. So really high quality um, box that it comes with. And you can in fact keep it with this. And as part of what you get as well is you get your store receipts over there. As you can see, I bought it in, as you can see, I bought it in Santon. Um, cause I always walk past that Christian Dior store and I'm just like, it smells amazing. So I finally got the chance to actually get the perfume or fragrance of my absolute dreams, which I really, really love. It's the Christian Dior Oud Espan. Sounds amazing. I've always wondered what Oud Espan means or rather what Oud means because I see it on a lot of strong fragrances, a lot of expensive fragrances as well. So Oud actually means black gold. Ooh, means black gold, um, kind of quite, quite fascinating. And Espan is in fact um, a rose smell. So it's a really beautiful and pleasant Damascus rose. That's what they in fact call it. So as soon as you open it, um, this is what the bottle in fact looks like. It's got some foam on the inside, um, just so it can get placed quite nicely. And it's really cool. I love this casing. I can I can use it for this bottle. But here it is over here. This is what the bottle looks like. Once again, this is the 250ml bottle. And again, with the subtle Christian Dior, very simple, straightforward. That's what the bottle looks like. If you look over there, that's what it is. It's still quite full. I've only used this like literally twice. It's got the signature Christian Dior at the top. So I love the subtle badging. You know, I am a dude who loves subtle badging all throughout a, a product, all throughout my cars as well. I love it. And if you look straight in there, 
it has got CD again, Christian Dior. And if you put the lid on, or even before you put a lid on, again, Christian Dior, really just reminding you what you actually have in your hands. And when you put the lid on, it's got this magnetic seal. So what I often do is I often lose the lids of my fragrances, or when I put it on, it doesn't sit properly, and then it starts to leak, but this one is really, really awesome. It's got like a magnetic thing that really just connects and just places it like beautifully, which is really, really cool. So here is the bottle, guys. Whenever I put this on, and I've only just used it twice, it's been absolutely insane, the comments I have been getting. I mean, people have smelt me from a passage or a corridor and said, wow, um, it literally smells like you all over the place. And I'm that type dude. I'm the type dude that uh, really wants to be confident in my own skin. And I really want to, I really want to smell good as well. So this is in fact really, really dope fragrance. So some interesting facts about this fragrance, it is a unisex fragrance. So if you are a female out there and you really want to try it out, yeah, definitely go for it. It's not like a predominantly male fragrance or female fragrance. It's really, really for both. And what I really like about it, and I'll get to talking about it as well, it's not the typical oud that smells like super woody and smells like tobacco. I do not enjoy tobacco in my fragrances. Um, so I want to get to talking about like tobacco versus um, rose scents as well. So it's really, really cool unisex fragrance. Um, it's part of Christian Dior's La Collection Privé. So it's not a watery rose. It's such an authentic real rose that is very long lasting. So one of the reasons why I absolutely enjoy this and I'll talk about the notes in a bit, but I am literally going insane for this fragrance because it smells so good. It smells so, 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 so good. So in talking about some of the notes and some of the smells that you will experience um, when you get to smell the Oud Espan, when you get to wear it as well, um, with all fragrances, um, with your own personal scent as well, when you put it on your skin, it will smell slightly different. So just be aware of that. But this one in particular, um, it's got a really strong smell, a really seductive, uh, intoxicating, yet citrusy um, smell that I absolutely adore. And it smells fresh. So I love fragrances that make you smell fresh. I want to be able to smell after a six hour day, like I've just jumped out the like the shower and it really makes a massive difference like that very fresh citrusy smell and of course this one's got like like a damascus rose which isn't particularly like watery like some of the other fragrances but it's really like a long lasting smell that you get to enjoy all day and because of its color and what it looks like it's got like a very ambery rose um, on it, which, which is really, really cool and just makes a massive difference in the way that it smells. So part of the ingredients that are also inside here, it's got, of course, as I've said, the oud essence that becomes a part of the bottling as well. Um, and as part of that, it's also got the, it's got like sandalwoods. It's got like sandalwoods as part of it. It's got some patchouli um, that's also a part of it as well, which make a really massive difference because as soon as you put the fragrance on, you're going to be smelling um, a bit of a rosy feel, which lasts throughout your time of in fact wearing it, but also a bit of a woody finish as well as you put it together. Um, with your own scent and with your own skin. So let's talk again more about in, in wearing this Oud Espan Christian Dior fragrance. Like for example, it's got a very well balanced um, scent between um, the wood, for example, and then between the rows, it's very perfectly balanced. It's not overpowering, for example. You're not going to walk into an elevator and people start coughing all over you. It's very subtle. It's very subtle and very fresh. And it's got a very floral smell, a very citrusy smell to it. And as soon as you walk into an elevator, for example, you will be noticed. So if you are one of those people who you want to smell rich, um, you want to smell nice. You want to smell made. This fragrance is certainly for you. It does give you that. They've really tried to capture the essence of luxury within this fragrance, which is really, really cool. I would recommend this fragrance for anyone to really wear it, make such a statement, especially if you're going on a date, you're going to a very important meeting, um, then definitely you will have that unique aroma, which is literally just going to follow you um, 
everywhere. Um, I've got a t-shirt that I was wearing about a week ago and um, I, I took it to the cleaners and literally washed it and it still smells of this fragrance. So I'm one of those people who wants a fragrance to last. I'm one of those people who don't want to be topping up throughout the day because I have done that um, in the past as well where throughout the day I'm literally topping up because um, I can't really, I can't smell myself. I do know that after a while, um, like your nose gets really familiar to the scent and etc. But I want to be able to smell myself, for example. So I'm one of those people who really wants a strong fragrance, uh, a, a very lasting fragrance as well. So this in particular is amazing for me. And of course, I mean, the comments I've been getting with this have been absolutely insane. So once again, if you're going to a meeting, if you're going on a date, this is the fragrance that you want to wear. And the cool part is it's both for male and female. It's a unisex fragrance, really powerful um scent really fresh so really one of the best and i totally compare it to like your tom fords and your versaces and your zegna all of them are ouds and particularly look at buying ouds if you are a fan of strong fragrances with a woody finish a rosy finish i know in the middle east a rosy finish is really popular and in south africa a bit of a woody and a tobacco finish could be a lot more popular but i in particular wanna wanna smell soft I want to smell soft and I really enjoy this fragrance. Really one of my favorite fragrances because of how well balanced it in fact is and you can wear it for hours. You can literally wear it for hours. So I'm really, really, really a big fan of Oud Span and I love it so, so, so much. So let us in fact now, now that we've spoken about like the notes and what it smells like, we've spoken really about... Um, the feelings that you get from it and what you can get from it. Let's talk about um, the price. Now, what I have got here, for example, I've got the 250 mil, uh, which should last me about a year or two. I'd love for it to last me about two years, but the way that I am wearing it right now, um, wow, it could, it, it could last me like a year. So, in talking about the price, of course, you get it at Christian Dior. Um, there's one in Santon if you stay within the area, but do look up which one is closest to you. And this one in particular um, is, is a bit pricey. For example, the 125 goes for about, I believe it's about 3.7. And this one in particular goes for about 5.5. Now, it does seem quite expensive for a fragrance, but if you do look at the other Oud fragrances out there, find one that particularly resonates with you. And I found this one that I absolutely dig, I absolutely love it. And despite the price, it is a fascinating and incredible fragrance that I will use not only on special occasions, but I will use it whenever I need to feel extra confident, whenever I've got something to do, whenever I need to put on like my beast mode, this is the fragrance that I want to use. So whether we're looking at a winter or a summer fragrance, I think this literally could, could live both because a rose lasts literally forever. And they've really been able to capture that Damascus rose over here, which I absolutely love, I absolutely dig, and it's not really overpowering. So in price, I think it's absolutely worth it. And of course, your usage is going to depend really on how often you want to have it on. But from a price perspective, that's how much it costs. And you can absolutely, save for this fragrance which you really enjoy if you are into sweet things fresh things um, like dark woods that aren't overpowering they got like a perfect balance between all of them then this is for you I know a lot of people may not like it too sweet like me for example so I always like a perfect like literally perfect perfect balance between them all and I think in the Christian Dior Oud Span, they've really really done a great job at getting a perfect balance at all of those so do check it out do buy it do experiment with it experiment with your fragrances um, experiment with your outfits as well um, we talk a lot about cars on this channel but also there are other things we don't live in a bubble we don't live in like this car zone where we're talking kilowatts and tires and donuts and all of that stuff all all the damn time so for example this is one of my favorite I look forward to sharing some of my other favorites 
uh, some of my other fragrances with you guys, but this in particular, do check it out. It's called the Oud Espan. It has garnered a lot of love, a lot of support, and people really dig this fragrance. Rest assured, if you try this fragrance on, you will get at least two compliments, I guarantee you. Two compliments, at least two compliments um, within that day. So really, really, really super amazing. Do check it out. It's called the Oud Espan. Thank you so much, guys, for joining the channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't joined the channel, make sure you do click that subscribe button. Click the bell right next to the subscribe button just so you can get an update every time we drop. We're looking forward to dropping every two weeks and then potentially dropping every week but it's all part of the plan. And we really wanna talk about everything from cars, talk about everything from jackets, watches, fragrances, sneakers, absolutely everything that impacts kind of like our life and everything around us. So we really look forward to sharing that with you guys. Although the show is predominantly um, around cars, we will be showing you guys more cars and more of other things as well. Maybe similar to this Oud Espan. So thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate you. Keep watching.